guys. Right, we've got to the end of the day. And we're going to have a story. we got Teddy joining us today for a story, haven't we? So we're going to read a Winnie the Pooh story. One of my favourites. And Ted's going to join in too. He's going to be listening. Enjoy. The Great Heffalump Hunt. Pooh trotted happily beside his best friend, Pooh, talking about nothing much, as best friends often do. When suddenly, Pooh stopped and said, I got a grand idea. I'm going to catch a heffalump. I've heard they live round here. A heffalump? squeaked Piglet. But they're huge ones, scary beasts. And Rabbit says they like to roast fresh piglets for their feasts. Well, that's why I must catch one, Pooh declared. Then with a clap, he said, Aha! I've got a plan. Let's set a cunning trap. Now, what might hungry heffalumps find tempting as a treat? Aside from piglets, Pooh declared, My guess is something sweet. A yumptious jar of honey then, said Piglet with a grin. We'll bait a trap with honey and he'll simply fall right in. What a grand idea, said Pooh. Let's do it now, tonight. I'll go and fetch some honey while you dig a pit. All right. Pooh went and got the honey. But before he reached the pit, a little voice inside him said, Just a tiny bit. He found the pit his friend had dug and passed the honey down. There's hardly any left, squeaked Piglet, giving Pooh a frown. There's just the right amount, said Pooh. I gave it careful thought. Let's meet at six tomorrow then and find out what we've caught. So Pooh and Piglet went to bed, but neither was prepared for the fact that Pooh was hungry and that Piglet, well, was scared. That jar of honey in our trap! groaned Pooh. It was my last. Oh, bother, double bother, and if no one's listening, blast! Just one more little pawful would be neither here nor there. A heifer of Pooh's hungry wouldn't notice, wouldn't care. So he set off through the forest with the moonlight overhead. And at that moment, Piglet sat up wide awake in bed. That horrid, hairy heffalump. He might not like Pooh's honey. Oh, what if all he wants is juicy piglets in his tummy? But Pooh will be there with me, Piglet thought. My best friend Pooh. It's scary when you're one, but it's much friendlier with two. So just before the clock struck six, he tiptoed out the door. The leaves and branches crackled on the frosty forest floor. Then suddenly he heard a noise that chilled him to the bone. A ghostly wail, a growl, a roar, a mournful, muffled moan. Where are you, Pooh? called Piglet. His heart beat fast with dread. I'm in the pit, he heard Pooh, Pooh cry. And something's got my head. The heffalump, squeaked Piglet. It's in the pit with Pooh and I'm too small to help him oh there's nothing i can do but something in his little soul prevented him from running and piglet's voice rose clear and strong hold on pooh bear i'm coming as fast as he could scamper piglet hurried to the pit then bravely scrambled to the edge and peered down into it a heffalump it's got him and it's shaking him about and all that piglet saw was poor pooh's bottom sticking out he summoned all his strength and smacked the monster on the head. Take that, you naughty heffalump. Now let Pooh go, he said. Then Piglet gave one final heave and with a squelching sound, out popped Pooh completely and collapsed onto the ground. The heffalump, it's vanished, Piglet said. Won't get far. But there in Piglet's arms, poor Pooh saw an empty honey jar. The heffalump, said Pooh. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure he's gone. 
I thought I saw him too, but Piglet, maybe we were wrong. You see, I got quite hungry when I went to have my nap, but the only snack I knew of was the one inside this trap. I took a lick, my head got stuck. I thought, this is the end. But there you were, dear Piglet, my brave rescuer, my friend. I did it, Piglet slowly spoke, because I love you, Pooh. And I know if it were me, that you would do the same thing too. I would, said Pooh, and thank you. Then he <laughs> sniffed and wiped his eye. I'd rescue you from heffalumps, but maybe let's not try. We're lucky, Pooh, said Piglet, as they set off home together, that you and I are such good friends. Best friends, said Pooh. Forever.